Well, uh, I'm very excited, uh, Matt, because we've got uh, we've got a guest on uh, via Zoom uh, today. We've got Jeremy Sharp from the Fremantle Dockers. Jez, welcome to Fat Chat. Uh, uh, Jez has been on Fat Chat. Um, mm-hmm. We did a uh, we did some preseason stuff um, last uh, last year, Jez, and I uh, came on and did an episode. How you been? How's everything been? Yeah, been good. Yeah, um, no, it's been a good start to the season. Um, I suppose us boys, uh, we've had a strong start, so that transition into a new club has been really smooth and it's been good fun. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, what was it like? Because when I saw you, I think it was literally the day before or two days before you were going in for your first day out. Frio was the last time that we trained and, and hung out. Um, what, uh, what was it like walking in first day? Uh, yeah, like, it was pretty surreal, I suppose. Like, it was a bit of a long time in the coming, so, like, yeah, those first few days were um, definitely pinching myself a bit. But, um, yeah, I suppose once I was in the, in the four walls, it was straight to work. And, um, yeah, I suppose um, everything I've sort of worked towards in the off-season um, had to be put into place. So, um, yeah, there's lots of nerves. But um, I, know, I suppose that probably that first week after that, I felt pretty good. Great. Did you – you hadn't lived in Perth before, have you? No, he's from Perth. Uh, oh, you're from no. Perth. Oh, no, I haven't, like, I'm from Perth, but um, I was over in the Gold Coast yeah. for four years. Yeah, right. Okay. So, did you know any of the the boys you were coming in that were in the team currently? When you, uh, yeah, I knew I knew a handful of them. Okay. I played like some rep footy with, but um, yeah. yeah, mostly the other the yeah, the other rest of the group. I yeah, never met before. Yeah, yeah right. right. And uh, how did you feel fitness wise when you were coming in first day? You've just come off Don't lie. a brilliant body magic preseason. We were clanging and banging. We were in the gym. We were grinding. Uh, we we did some swim. Women. Some some of the swim <laughs> sessions we did together as well when I was doing the Ironman. Yeah, no, I, I think I came in in really good shape. Yeah, I was lucky enough to work with you. Um, Don't say that. Don't say that. Shush, 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 shush. No, he's a good trainer. So I'll give him all the credit yeah, he deserves. Okay. He's uh, a positive man, isn't he? Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I, I think I came into the into the club in some good condition, and um, yeah, I suppose with all the testing and all that coming up um, in our program, I had to be feeling one hundred percent, and um, yeah, I thought I was I came in some really good condition, so it was good. Well, you smashed the you did the run with um, Peter Bowl rocked up to a session, didn't he? And you guys got to train with him. Did you beat him in the end? Yeah, I, I, I'm not I'm not sure if I beat him, but like in the I first reckon he beat him. <laughs> In the first one car against him, like there was an opportunity there at the end just to pimp him, and I suppose I had to do it. So you did. So you, <laughs> you got him. him away. So yeah. Yes. Like, yes. Like, yes. Oh, was, that's huge. He, he was straight back. The from great Peter Bowl probably wasn't trying too hard. Yeah. You reckon? You, you reckon he was holding back just a little bit? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. I'd be telling if it was me. I'd be telling everyone, Nah, I got him. I got him. <laughs> you know, I went for a run with Peter Ball once, and I tell you this. Oh. No, yeah. I videoed it. I have to show you the video of it. Um, this is and legit. This is legit. He yeah. came and did two weeks of training with me, um, just wow. doing some weights and stuff. And um, he was like, "I'm going for a recovery run. Do you want to? Do you want to come?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, cool." It was in Thornley, around the corner from me. Um, and uh, went for this run. And he's like, "Yeah, it's a recovery thing." I brought my like video guy down, and uh, this was back before I did any running at all. And uh, I'm running with him. And he's like, "Yeah, we're gonna do you know this first k this time and this time after two k's. I'm on the fourth floor vomiting, yeah. seeing mm. stars like yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. He's an incredible athlete, isn't he? And it, it, um, on his socials and stuff at the moment, it looks like he's absolutely flying. So yeah. pretty excited to see how he goes at the Olympics. Yeah, Paris coming up. So like the games yeah. that you played so far, any like real big highlights for you? Like whether it was, you know, either just just a game in general that you played or like a particular passage of play or someone you played yeah. Um Yeah, I think our first win, uh, my first win for the club was pretty special in, um, in that round one win against Brisbane Lions um, mm-hmm. in front of 40 odd thousand. Um, for our supporters, that was a pretty special moment. Um, and yeah, and to run run alongside a heap of new teammates um, and then surrounded by all my family and friends up in the stands, it was um, it was a pretty special day. And yeah, I think probably that has been my favourite moment of this year so far. Um, I suppose I had I had an alright game on the weekend as well, so that felt pretty good. But I think running out, yeah, round one against Brizzy was pretty special. And kicked a snag on the weekend as well. Just going, what a beautiful goal it was too. Yeah. I was going, I was going crazy after that. How good! <laughs> that was first, yeah, that was first thought, goal, hey. Uh, that was my second, but it's probably the most, my most important goal. But yeah, um, yeah I thought that. I thought that could have got us through in the end, but um, oh well, the rest is history. Now, Jez, you got to tell Matt this real quick because he will not believe me, right? That what what's the food that you were powered by? before and after training? What's like your favorite food that you love to eat that you told me on the last podcast? Oh, scotch fingers. They're a hack, mate. 
Absolute hack. hack. Goes through a pack, no, pack uh, a day. just plain ones. Yeah, they're a hack. Full of carbohydrates. <laughs> yeah. It's true though. <laughs> He's not on the body magic uh, shred not, for Europe, so the, that's okay. No, that's, but that's what body magic put in my program. So yeah, just scotchies. Old. Get those scotchies <laughs> in there. Hey, can I ask, mate, did you um been in the Gold Coast for four years? Did, was it enjoyable to come home or did you was it enjoyable over there? Did you like the environment and the uh, I guess the the temperature and the atmospheres, you know, it's, it's, it is a different vibe yeah. over there. Yeah, no, it's a good question. Like, um, no, I absolutely love my time with Gold Coast. Like yeah. the whole, um, the whole scene, the whole setup over there. It's, um, it is probably the best in Australia. Like, in terms of weather and yeah. um, lifestyle and stuff, which I really enjoy. Like, I could wake up every single day and go for surfs. Um, mm-hmm. Had really good food, coffees, um, and my group of mates over there were pretty special as well. So, um, yeah, I think their times that I really enjoyed, but um, I suppose just coming home and just being around family and friends is so important to me. And yeah, it's probably been my most enjoyable part of this year so far is, is that probably the reason of just being back around my family and stuff. But yeah, the Gold Coast is a pretty special joint. And um, I suppose, yeah, living there, you get to see how good the rest of Australia is and you yeah. got to see how far behind Perth is as well. In, yeah. in a sense. Yeah. But, Where um, else did you live in the Gold Coast, mate? I was in Burley Heads. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've, Actually um, trained out of there yeah. a, a few times over the years, so it is a good spot. Yeah, lots in of the trains over there. Hey, yeah, yeah. Just from the conditions through the winter, right? You can you can escape our little bit of winter too, and still have yeah. you know sunny days over there. So yeah, um, absolutely. Body um, match tells it's, me yeah, it's a great climb to train in. That's for sure. Have you have you run an ultra? I'd love to. Um, right. I thought you, what was that yeah. one that you were telling me you did? It was like that crazy like hundred. Or what was it? It was something something wild oh, that you did in that. Yeah, yeah. Like I've done some crazy, like lots of crazy running tasks and stuff. Right. Um, but I've done like Ironmans and stuff, but not Ironman. So like those little adventure races and stuff. But I've done some pretty crazy like um, tasks and events just through, just through the club and stuff. But okay. nothing on your sort of level. You two you boys have done, but. Yeah, you boys. Don't I like how you said that. I like how you said that, you boys. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> wow. So how many, how many Ks are you racking up for your last couple of games on the wing? Because you've been up and out. I think the, the game against Carlton, what did you get? You gained like 700, meter, 700 meters gained or something like that? Yeah. Um, it fluctuates between probably 14 and 15 Ks every game. Yeah, that's wild. So it's um it's pretty tolling on the body, but um, I suppose that's where the Scotchies come into play. That's when the Scotchies, yeah. They would definitely yeah. kick in, in, the, in, the, in second the, quarter. In the in the game kit at <laughs> halftime as Jez just hit the Scotchie. Beautiful, beautiful. Do you have a couple at halftime? <laughs> nah, nah. I've actually been um, halftime lately. I've been having lots of like dried mango and stuff. I don't know if you guys use that at all, but... Um, I'm feeling well, like that's helping me heaps at the moment. Yeah, which well, is I, was, interesting. I was saying because when this was in the thick of when we were doing everything, but just the gels, like I can't believe more of that. Yeah. Guys don't just use the gels at quarter time and half time. Oh, you'd be surprised. Yeah. I, there'd be quite a few guys. There's a few, but as in how much that you should probably yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's sports nutrition is evolving, right? But, you know, if, if things like dried fruit works, it's yeah. the same concept, right, sugar? Mm. It's like if someone wants bananas, same. Yeah, you know, so yeah. it's someone yeah. watch scotch. No, it is an interesting topic. Scotches. Hey, like, so much science behind it. But like, mm. as athletes, you're always con- like constantly like trying to evolve and yeah. try to get better all the time. But yeah, gels or dried mango, it's working for me at the moment. Yep. So good, man. Well, hey, thank you so much for uh, joining us on Fat Chat. We're gonna we'll catch up when you're back in uh, Perth as well, and we're gonna get you on for another full episode because I want to hear about this whole year because it's off to an absolute bloody flyer so far. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm at the TV and at the game, screaming to shout, going yes, yes, it's the best. So um, no, really looking forward to the rest of the year, bro. And uh, good luck, uh, good luck, and we'll chat soon. No, absolutely, lads. Pleasure being on, and um, I'll try to get you to a few of those games throughout the year. So yeah, um, yeah, and, mate. <laughs> get body match in the rooms. Let's go. <laughs> come on, my old man's a member, mate. He'd love to come in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Um, yeah. yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Um, all the best. Good on thanks, you, mate. Jess. Thank you.